Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Weather News Happens or Not show. It's been two weeks. We've not been here for two weeks, Dawson. <laughs> we haven't been here for a while. Uh, the last episode was episode 11. This is episode 12 of the Weather News Happens or Not show. We reacted to our Civil War film, Brothers, which is currently blocked on YouTube right now. We're trying Yay. to get that fixed. Uh, it was because of a certain song on the video. If y'all been paying attention, our reaction to that video also got blocked, and I fixed it. So, currently, I would say to go watch the film, but you can't right now. But Well, yeah, you can't right now, because it's getting fixed at the current moment. But, watch the video of us reacting to it. The film's on there. Um, but that was the last episode we did, was reacting to Brothers, our Civil War film that we did back in uh, 2021. Uh, if you want us to react to more of our films, let us know in the comments down below. Uh, and leaving a like on this video, as always. Uh, before we get in to what we are doing today, this coming Tuesday on Pi Day, we'll be hitting eight years of Weather News Happens or Not. And <laughs> quite crazy, because normally every year we used to do a anniversary video on March 14th, uh, which we started Weather News Happens or Not March 14th of 2015, uh, which in this very basement, right here, we started Weather News Happens or Not. There are some videos I don't have anymore where we actually started Weather News Happens or Not in 2014. Way, way, way back. Mm. Way, way back. Is that the um, videos? Well, there was that, and then there was the actual start of Weather News Happens or Not with this oh. very table. This is the same table from eight, nine, eight or nine years ago. We used this same table. We also used this when we started the Trace and Dawson show, oh, yeah. which was the very first attempt at doing one of these. Uh, those are on, that video is on my channel if you want to go check it out. Eight years, it's crazy to crazy. think about. Uh, and the uh, over a hundred or so trailers, films, and videos that we've done, and over 530 subscribers is pretty wild. Thanks to everyone that subscribed. Uh, it's given us support throughout the eight years. Um, what it, what does it feel, how does it feel to, to, to have <laughs> gone through eight years of Weather News Hammers or not, Dawson? We've definitely done a lot. Uh, we've definitely grown. Yeah. And it's been crazy. Mm -hmm. We've definitely grown on how we make things. Yeah. And do things. We've, uh, we've definitely been through the ringer with people. We've, we've had people, then we lost people, then we've had people. Then we've we worked with people. almost over 40, 50 people. Yeah. In the last eight years that we've done, which is even more crazy to think us at 14, 13, 14 years old would ever think that we would work with that many people Yeah, on YouTube and videos and stuff. It's it's wild. I've never thought we would ever. I thought it would always just be me and Dawson because we, you know, we didn't, we thought people would obviously think that we're weird. Yeah. People still think that we're weird in some ways. You know. But it is what it is. But yeah, eight years of whether news happens or not. This, on the 14th, it'll be eight years. So just think about that, ladies and gentlemen. Four, or eight years. And think about it, in just two, we'll be at ten. That's even more crazy. <laughs> ten, it'll be in 2025, we'll be at ten years, which is even more crazy. And we hope to still wow. be here in two more years to celebrate ten years. That'll be a big video. But today, speaking of eight years and also our films in general, uh, one of the episodes that uh, we did, we talked about one of the last episodes we did where we ranked every single one of our films top 10. Not every single one, but we did a top 10 best and top 10 worst episode of the Weather News Times Not Show where we ranked our favorite films, top 10 films, and our worst 10 films. And I mentioned that idea in the last episode or two. And today we're going to be doing another tier list, ladies and gentlemen. We did a tier list about several weeks ago where we did the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies and we ranked those but this time we're going to be ranking the films that we haven't ranked in our top 10 at all or top 10 worst from the end of 2020 to the end of 2022 uh, which is our 13 films that we've done from uh, that period of time now I know we've done you know, it's a dozen or so films, and the list, our top ten list, would probably look very different, and it'd probably take us a while to figure out yeah. what our top ten was. <sighs> so I was just like, let's just do a tier list, because that'd be a lot easier. 
to do. And then we'll figure out from those what's the top ten. See? We're going to start off with the film that that we did back at the end of 2020 in Halo Remembrance, which was our first attempt at... Not a first attempt, but it was our first Halo film that we ever did because we've done Halo films before. Um, Dawson, what do you think about Halo? Uh, I like it. It's definitely... Can't go off of anything on here since because right now it's blocked. Yeah, oh, and that one's also <laughs> blocked too because we put the same song in Brothers as we did that film. And yeah, they're both blocked. Yep, yeah, they're both blocked right now. Thanks, Taylor Swift. Yeah, yeah. But um, I like I liked it a lot. It was we've we've always wanted to do a good Halo film, more or less, and Halo like an actual. A Halo film was actually going to be one of our big projects at the very, very beginning yeah. of whether news happens or not called Last Hope. If you want to watch that trailer, here it is. Anyways, we're back. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a very old trailer. We did oh that trailer goodness. way back in 2015, but we we tried to attempt to do last year. Yeah, hope. I've uh, I've definitely got better at making Spartan armor. Yeah, this that one. was when you gave it no color. It was just all white. It was all white. It was all white. White we and just black. Went with it. Um, I'm actually about to make another Spartan armor, which is based off of the Mark Seven armor and a little bit of. Uh, Halo Reach armor in there as well, because we've been. That's another. We thought about doing another Halo film, but Halo has always been. Um, it's one of my favorite games. It always has been one of my favorite game on the Xbox. Always will be probably. I'm playing the new Halo Infinite right now, and it's gorgeous. It's <laughs> awesome. Uh, we've done a couple of different Halo games. We've yeah. Videos. Mm -hmm. With the games of playing Halo Reach, uh, we played the first Halo. Mm -hmm. Me and Trace were working on the campaign, which we need to finish at yeah. some point. If y'all want to see that, let us know. Yeah. We need to finish the campaign at some point. We've done a couple other different things. We've also did the Halloween video where Tucker from Red vs. Blue comes in. Yeah. Yada, yada, yada. It's been a lot of different things. It's been a lot of different things. Different times, different Lots, lots of different things. But Halo Remembrance was one of the actual, like, Halo short films that came out that was actually good. Like, it has it's, a storyline. It's really a character film. Yeah. Really. Because, I mean, it's set in Halo, but you got a lot of different, like, characters like Cole and, and Mark and Jasmine who you get to see how Halo and the war has kind of affected them. Yeah. <laughs> and it's more of a character study into Cole himself because it shows what he had before everything else. And yeah. there might be a sequel to that. We've talked about that. Yeah, we have talked about doing a sequel. If we do a sequel, uh, Cole's armor is going to be a little bit different because I don't have that armor anymore. Because usually, and Trace knows this, Usually, if we're done with a film, I'll go through and start messing around and repainting or rebuilding and fixing up and do this different other stuff to do another film with it or yeah. anything down the road. So that's one of the reasons why usually we don't do a lot of two-parters is one, because of costume changes, and then two, because either we've lost 
a character that was in the other one or something's going on or we just don't have time to yada 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 mm-hmm. yada yada more or less but um his armor would be different but the big thing about the second one was the whole showing everybody in it to where uh cole his girlfriend his best friend because his best friend is now a marine he's fighting is just a marine caitlin's character which is the girlfriend is a unsc officer plot twist yeah and then of course cole is a spartan so and nobody knows that he's a spartan except for this guy me so because i figured it out yeah yeah because of the necklace (laughs) the the necklace but we're thinking we've also talked about doing other halo films uh with other characters and making up people and uh but halo remembrance is a very in-depth character film Mm -hmm. and i would put that at a I, I agree with that. Yeah, I, I would put it at an A. It's one of those... I like character films such as Joker, which that one's a real character film, mm. um, and the sequel should be kind of like that, but it probably be more focused on Lady Gaga than more than him. Oh, yeah, Harley Quinn. But um, Halo Remembrance, an A. It's great. It is good. It's good. It's good stuff. Our next one is... Oh, pff- well, you want to... Oh. I thought about this, too. Okay. So we're talking about all the good stuff of what we have, like about the films. What's something you don't like about oh, the Oh, about film? Halo? Yeah. The Halo film? We, should, we could do that. Talk about what's good and then mark okay. down and what you don't like about Okay. It. Um, huh. Probably the baby talk that you and Caitlin have in the film. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, don't like that at all. Um, not, not anything against Dawson and Caitlin, but it was... And Caitlin would even say it if she was here. The, y'all were just starting to date each other. It was cringy. So, it is what it is, it and is it what happened. It was cringy. That's about the only thing I didn't like about it, is that. Yeah. My thing, there's that, and one thing that's always bugged me, and I, I wish we can go back, and if we ever do it again, I know we'll fix it, but we can't fix it now. Yeah. Because it's already done over with. The film's already out. One night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the slow motion running scene. Oh gosh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that one's really bad. We wanted to be really slow and dramatic going with the music, but at the time we weren't using our phones, we were mm-hmm. using the computer, and like in our previous video, we talked about the whole slow motion ordeal with the phone and the computer, and it just, well, we used the computer, and it was just lagging. Bad. Bad. Yeah, I remember when you it slowed was... it down and we watched it back, and I was like, I don't even want to leave it in there. That's... Wow. It was bad, and then that's when we started using the phone we after using that. The phone. And, and so far, the phone is not giving us any problems. It yep. looks actually It's great. Good. It probably would have looked better with the phone. Mm-hmm. There's and a significant difference. The other thing is um, there's one green screen, and there's another green screen that I like and don't like. I was very yeah. surprised by the green screen that we did I was for too. that. The Pelican green screen came out really good. Yeah. That whole sequence of it came out really good. The uh, the Wraith was a little wonky. Yeah, the, the one the shooting tank, at us. Yeah. yeah. That one was a little wonky, but it still looked pretty okay for what it was. So, I mean, I'm not going to hate on it too much. It's not our fault. It's we not tried. our fault. We tried. And if we do another Halo thing, I had an idea and I'm not going to talk about it on camera, but I will talk about it to you after okay. outside of camera. So, uh, the next one that we've got, which came out about a month after this uh, film uh, came out, or after the Halo film came out, For the Greater Good, which is our Judge film. Uh, not Judge Dredd, because people in the comments were complaining that the badge was on the wrong side, even though it's not our it's not Judge Dredd, it's Judge Hill. There's a difference. And it's our own thing, so who really cares? Um, that film is the goriest film we've done, period. I <laughs> don't think anything uh, can top that as the amount of blood that we used for that film. Um, Dawson lot. just gets to beat up everybody, mm-hmm. pretty much. Uh, we do get our chances, and Caitlin even does too, uh, by throwing Ian down a hill. That was funny. That was a, yeah, it was very a very funny film to do, and uh, the was... fighting in it was great. Uh, we did more stunt ish stuff, where you know Dawson flips me over onto the gravel, which we've never done stuff like that before. And we, the fight scenes were great. Like I said, my hand gets blown up. 
Uh, Ian gets his face beat in. I get my neck stomped in by Dawson. And fake blood goes in my ear. And that's fun. It's always fun when you got stained blood all over your face. But the film is really great. It's all about kidnapping somebody for the greater good. And it obviously did not turn out very well. Uh, what do you think about the Judge film? Um, but basically the same thing. I think it's pretty okay. I think there's things that we could have changed in it. We came up with the idea in July of that year, and then we we didn't know what we wanted to do for a film that day. And I was like, well, what about that Judge film that we talked about in the summer? And you had the Judge Hill outfit done, mm-hmm. and so we did it. And there it is. Ta-da. Yep, fun stuff. Um... I think it was Caitlin's first damsel in distress character, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, like, unlike the last video, this is not a very character-based no. film. This is just You get dropped action. in a situation, and here you are. Yeah. It, it, it reminds me of a more action-y version of On the Hunt. Yeah. Of the whole bounty Mm-hmm. Hunter thing. Except it's and more then, futuristic. And it's more futuristic yeah. with the Judge Hill thing. We've talked about doing another one because it it is. It's just a short little like, okay, this futuristic cop is on a call and he goes over here. Yep. Ta-da. But um, it is very gory. There's lots of fighting in it. Yeah. The whole film is basically fighting. Yeah. Almost the entire time. And Caitlin's character's hiding in the entire film. Yeah. Behind the car. Behind the car. Behind the car. And also there's a funny behind the scenes thing that Caitlin filmed on her phone that's really funny because we didn't we didn't have a motorcycle and that's all the judges usually oh, go around yeah. on yeah. so we had to make it look like I have a motorcycle but in the scene Trace is crouched down like this and I'm going over to get on the motorcycle and whatnot and it just looks like I sit on top of Trace's head that's that's a funny clip yes. <laughs> funny funny stuff always a good time uh we had a good time filming that too we just yeah. were joking around filming and that was the funny part. Is it's such a gory and like intense Serious film, film, but like we're sitting there cracking jokes and making yeah. fun of the entire time. Uh, Ian had his mullet. Yeah, at he that did. time he did. Um, it definitely is our goriest thing, and I liked how you brought up the whole uh, stunt thing of flipping you over. That yeah, that was and, very different because we decided to start doing that in like the Star Wars film and yeah. other stuff like that, like we'll bring really that hurting ourselves. Bit. <laughs> but, yeah, really hurting us. Really, really giving ourselves bruises. Really using the body. Yeah, the we're gonna g- using it as a temple. But uh, <laughs> to yeah. damage it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the Star Wars one here in a little bit. Too. Yeah, about that. Uh, I would give that one an A also. I would. Yeah, I mean, I I would give it an A, for me at least. I don't know I'll give you. it an A because of the action. In it. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense to me. So two A's already. We're doing good. Unlike the MCU where we had a lot of F's. So cool. And I mean a lot of F's. Y'all, y'all got to check that video out. Uh, now we're moving in to 2021. And that starts out with the biggest film that we've ever done. 27,000 views. The Woods. Woo! Our Bigfoot fan film with... Like I said, 20, 27,000 views, 248 likes. It's crazy. Uh, we gained a bunch of subscribers, a lot of uh, popularity and fans from that film. Uh, it was kind of wild because we've talked about doing a Bigfoot film for at that point for like four or five years uh, because we wanted to do the Wolverine versus Bigfoot, and we still might do the Wolverine versus Bigfoot, and it might be connected Good. to that film. Who knows? Uh, there's a lot of possibilities for a sequel for that film. We also had a, another Bigfoot film idea where it still might be a possibility. Uh, Dad is still trying to talk to him about everything, but where it takes place at a camp. Oh, yeah. camp. And yeah. unlike this one where there's a little bit of just kind of like a little bit of everybody going around and then you run into Bigfoot. Now that one's going to be like a straight horror film that we were planning on doing. And it will be a in the same universe as the woods. Yeah. Because it's gonna it technic, so technically it's going to be yeah. a spiritual sequel. In a way. To the woods because the character we're gonna be playing different people with different names, but the people like Dylan Dixon and Adam will still exist in that world. 
Somewhere. And you don't know if you'll they'll be dead or alive. Well, Adam is obviously dead, but um, that was fun. I got to be a monkey, a big old monkey in that film. Uh, that was great. It was fun times. Uh, I got to make Dawson about bleed to death. Yeah. In the middle of the woods. Uh, that's another stunt scene is the whole him Flipping coming you. through and then I go. Whoop. Yeah, which <laughs> a bunch of people have said it's the coolest part of the entire film is when I tackle Dawson. Shoulder tackle Dawson. Yeah, Even I though I just hit Dawson in the foot and he flipped. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it so is what it is. Um, but it was a really cool scene. Yeah, that film is really cool. Uh, I love the vlogging at the beginning with Caitlin. That was really made it more yeah. authentic. And I liked uh, how we used only really two people for that entire, entire film. And it was still such a big uh, deal. I don't really dislike anything from it. I don't either. I just don't. I just don't see... We got a lot of hate comments on it. I know that. We did do that. Yeah. I will say there could have been a, maybe a little bit more dialogue on some areas to where it kind of flew together a little bit more. Yeah. Because some of the comments... Because, yeah, we got 34 comments on it, and there were some comments of people just like, dialogue is horrible, or just mm-hmm. this, that, and the other. Well, we didn't write it, so... We didn't write it. Um, this was in our phase of we're not, we weren't writing anything. We were literally just making it up on the spot and say Normally all you we want, do do but that. uh, then we got 248 likes and yeah. 27,000 views. And 43 so dislikes. I saw you. that on my phone. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I saw that on my phone. So, heck off. Yeah, we we were just trying something. Uh, to be honest, when we did the film, I didn't think it was going to get that big. But it took like two weeks to get like that, and then, you know, it is what it is. But I looked on your paper. I'm going to put it on S as well. I, yeah, I put it at the very top because one, it's our most viewed film, and it's just great. It's a great film. Uh, and if here's the thing: if you don't find any problems with the film, it's got to go an S because yeah. that just means it's good means it's in good. our opinion. But that's the woods. Go check it out for yourself. Contribute to the cause. Become one of the twenty-seven thousand. One of them. One of them. Uh, the next film we're going to talk about is the last film in the South Jarday series uh, of the first season. Oops, first season. Oh, I said oh, first season. No. Oh, no. Uh, of the South Jarday, the journey of South Jarday, Star Wars The Stranger, which featured the acting debut of your brother Gabe. Yeah. That was fun. Didn't say anything the entire time. He said one line. Did he? Yeah, he did. What did he say? Hey, they, y'all, they got stopped at that little intersection. And you, they, Caitlin thinks that there's like someone's around, and he goes, "Why did we stop?" Oh. And then Caitlin goes, <laughs> and then Caitlin's like, "Don't move, blah blah blah." And then you're behind the tree. So yeah, he says one line in the film, wow. but still, he's in it. He's there. Uh, but that film was great. We it took us about three months or four to film because my lightsaber died. That's not even a lie. It's not a it, joke. It died. So we were in the middle of doing the epic lightsaber battle. Yeah. And my lightsaber died. So we had to wait until March of 2021 to film the rest of it. That film was awesome. <laughs> it was great, though. Yeah. The lightsaber battle was one of the best we've ever done, uh, period. Uh, best lightsaber fight ever. <laughs> I can, I can tell you done. this right now. We will never do that again. Holy crap. It took me Maybe. three It <laughs> took me three hours. Uh, to edit the entire thing with sound effects. We, me and Trace talked about that, and luckily it's now starting to kind of work a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. But um, if we do do a Star Wars lightsaber fight again, I'll do some of the effects on the phone. And then when we get over to the computer, the only effects that we really have to do is the, like, holding together sound effects, mm-hmm. and then, like, maybe every so often just like a random whatever in there but other than that you know just but, for the lightsaber yeah. thing alone i'm putting it at s also i did too um because it's, awesome. it's great uh the story is great too mm-hmm. probably that film and another film which is actually going to be coming up is a very like it just feels star warsy yeah. There's been a couple of films that we filmed in the past that Star Wars that's it's Star Wars but it's you can tell it's just like our video and it's like 
it doesn't necessarily feel like it's Star Wars in a way. If that makes kind I of guess, sense. I guess, yeah. That one and another one is very like top up there. But uh, I love the lightsaber fight. And it's like what Trey said. We're, we'll keep that in there. Maybe somewhere in the far, far, far future we might do another lightsaber fight again. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. For right now, if we ever do another Star Wars thing with a lightsaber fight, it's just going to be one person with a lightsaber and then somebody else with something else. Yeah. So I will say before we go into the next one, though, I do... Like another thing I do like about not just that film but the series in general is the chemistry between him and his master and that story. Great. And the conclusion to that is even better. So we we already have plans to do a season two like I just said a few minutes ago. Um, it's going to be wild. Season two is going to be wild. What we've already talked about for it, it's going to be wild. But Crazy, man. But, you know, uh, not going to say Crazy. anything here. But the next one that we have on this list has over a thousand views, thousand five hundred and eighty-five views, thirty-seven likes. It's Indiana Jones and the Lost Gem, which is one of the shortest videos in the group of films that we're ranking today. Mm-hmm. Uh, and but it's pretty cool, and it's another one of those things, like I said about in the woods, where it's just me and Dawson, the entire and time, and that's it. And Caitlin filmed all of it. Shout out shout out to you, Caitlin. We've mentioned you a bunch in this because you're in a lot of them. So, but the filming is great. Acting great. I I featured this film. This film was featured on the Sherry show and Sherry got a kick out of it. So, tells you it's funny too. Oh yeah. But um it's it was a great uh thing to do. It was the very first film that I can think of where we actually built a set. Not counting taking out the trash, which was somewhat of a set because we had to we put stuff in place but this was like a full-on set set uh piece for dawson finding the lost gem yep it's wonderful uh what'd you think about the I indiana jones film? loved indiana jones i've always loved indiana jones anyways the indiana jones the mummy yada 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 just that iconic adventure kind of aesthetic i'm not gonna say anymore because i want to but you know <laughs> You know what I'm thinking. Yeah. Of. But anyways, set was good. Could have been a little bit better on the set, but we only had just a little bit of time, and we just used what we had, and so on and so forth. So we did that, and like you said, the acting, the acting was good. The I liked one of the biggest things is I liked the fight. Yeah. Too between mm-hmm. me and Trace's character. It don't last Indy. long, but it's good. Yeah. Of Indy and uh, Renee Baylock. It's just, it's that just the ac- iconic, just over the top fighting like Indiana Jones. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> and it fits. That's mm-hmm. the thing is when you're watching it. Any other video that we're doing, if we did fighting like that and use those sound effects, people would be like, what is "Well, wrong that's with you? stupid." <laughs> but like with this film, it actually fits. It makes sense. Like it yeah. makes sense, and it just fits while you're watching. You're just like, <laughs> "That's awesome." It's also the so, most wet we've gotten. Yeah. For our film, because we did not know it was going to pour the rain that day. Fun fact, which it's actually not in the behind the scenes. A little bit of the laughter is, but as we were there at one point, there's. One of the takes, Trace's character gets up and runs. Well, right when he gets up, his foot slips out, and he just, boom! Yeah, right I, bust I bust it. I bust it. Because all of our, our shoes were wet. It was slick outside. It was just a it was, whole ordeal. It was crazy. It was, it was wild. It was, a, it was a wet April day. That's mm-hmm. what it was. Um, but uh, I see you put it to S, Dawson. I did. Again. I'll probably put it there, too. Um just because of the set and the effort that we went into that film period mm. i'll put it at s um yeah I'll, I'll put it at s as well uh we're agreeing so far on most of everything i mean we both worked on the films so how could we not Ta-da. uh but that that was uh, indiana jones and the lost gym next is one of my favorite ones of all time with 774 views and 14 likes, Interrogation, which is our Robin film, uh, sort of. It has Robin in it. Mm. That's what gets you pulled in. You see Robin's name in there. You're going to watch it. Uh, but Interrogation is great. 
Love it. Uh, Caitlin plays my sister in this one. Uh, I play Dylan Watson, the, the bad boy, and Dawson plays Dick Grayson. Hi. Uh, and I make fun of uh, his name in that film. He does do that. I do, because, hey, you want me to play an arrogant bad boy? I'm going to do it. And that's what I did, was uh, was say that uh, character's name. But film was great. Filming at the park was great. Again, we haven't done that in a long time, probably since, like, Yin and Yang, or, yeah. like, for that long, because Come Home, we did it for, like, a short period of time. But with Yin and Yang, we filmed the entire film there. And, like, with Interrogation, we filmed a majority of the night there. Yeah. So it was, like, a long... It was kind of, It was a very different feeling to go back to the park again and do all that kind of stuff. And uh, it was it was great. Great stuff. It what was. do you think, Dawson? Uh, I liked it. I'm going to put it on S, by the way. Uh, I liked it. It had its... Uh... It definitely had its awesome moments. The fighting at the very end was really cool. The interrogation point was one thing that I really liked. And honestly, this film was the starting off of a wormhole that we got sucked into. That we're like, we're going to start doing this because we didn't really realize that we were actually good at doing this. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start doing this. And that's basically the whole crime it was one of our oh, first yeah. attempts at doing a yeah. criminal type thing. So, and then it just went down a rabbit hole of doing crime investigation films. Which this so. is our first one out of three because yeah. we've done a handful of them. Actually, first one out of four because yeah. the last one we did was a crime one too. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that one's a good one. I like it. Uh, we basically came up with the story and the backstory for all of it. On the fly. We didn't write any of the stuff about how Bruce and ba- meets Bruce and Barry and the eight-year-old cousin and none of that. We came up with that as we were filming it. Yeah. So it was a pretty interesting experience, and Dawson got to get all up in my face like he has before ah. uh, and almost broke the Weather News Times and I Easter egg cup that we yeah. had sitting there on the table. I smacked the table and the cup said, Whoa. <laughs> That was fun. Um, the next film, we actually reacted to this film in the last episode. It's currently blocked on YouTube right now. Uh, we mentioned that earlier. Yeah. Um, it's got 257 views, 12 likes. It's Brothers. If you want to go watch what we said about and talked about that film, go check it out right now. Yeah. Uh, go check out the film. Go check out the... Well, once it's back on YouTube... But go check out the reaction that we did to that film, and uh, that's all you'll need to know about our opinions on yeah, Brothers. We, we already talked. We already talked about the did. film. I'm actually putting it on S because I think it's yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually gonna put it on A because because um, you died for four minutes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, you know. I'm kidding. Uh, no, uh, I I felt like that film, in my opinion, could have went a little bit longer. I think so, too. I think it could have went a little bit longer, and we could have added more... St- I mean, it's it's another one of those films where you get dropped in a situation where uh, your brother gets attacked and y'all are running. It's one of those films. You yep. just kind of jump into it. But there could there could be potential for a sequel, is what I mean, because that's the depth that you could go into it. Good. Of that. But I'm going to put it at A, just for that reason. Um... Our next one is the murder mystery film. Case number A03-0508198. Yeah, which is the case <laughs> which is the case number that came with the game and it's got 322 views, 8 likes. This one was the second movie that we ever made uh on accident. Yeah. We didn't really think that it would be our second feature length thing that we've done. It's great. Story's good. Um, the the amount of depth that we went into it, and the fact that we filmed it in one entire room, the entire time, it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat, mm-hmm. and we made jokes about Arby's, and Dawson acted like Tony Stark for most of the <laughs> film, yeah. and was saying stuff like Thor head looking guy, Thor head looking guy, yeah. looking lo- looking stuff. Uh, but. Uh, also, that was a film that had me, 
Dawson and Caitlin in it. I got to play um, Andy Allen, who was the... You don't see his face. You just see me in the sweatshirt. And don't, yep. But I played that. Marcus Thorne. Dawson played Jacob Marks. And Caitlin had her... Probably one of her most, at the time, most prominent roles as Emily Webb. Because she basically figured out most of the case. And yeah. she wasn't even a detective. She wasn't even a detective. Wow. Smart <laughs> stuff. How about uh, that? But yeah, most of that story came from the game itself. Uh, the interrogation lines were from the game itself, which is pretty nice, um, because we basically just took what it had and we just built yeah. stuff on it. We actually plan on doing that again, so stay tuned. Yes, yeah, so lo look out for a second crime and guess investigation film. It, might, it probably won't have the same people in it, but that's okay, because that's the point. And who knows? We might be a whole... We might not even be a team together. Yeah. It might just be two. It might just be one. It might be nobody. <laughs> it might be nobody. Nobody. We're all the bad people. Um, what? But uh, Dawson put it on A. I put it on A. Uh, and I think I'm going to put it on A as well. Because I think it's really good, but I feel like there would there's room for it would have been better. Yeah. There was room for improvement that we could have done. Because there were some things in there that just because of the fact that we were just making up stuff and this thing and this I don't want to say lazy, but at the same time, there are things in there that it just kind of was like lazy that we're just like, here you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it's we we tried. Know. We're not downplaying it. It's yeah. just, it's it's. I think it's even more miraculous that we took stuff from a game that other people made up, and then we just made the live action version of it. Yep. And it was just amazing how we were able to even do that. Uh, our next film, we're entering 2022, uh, we're getting close to the end here, is The Drop Zone, which has 179 views and 10 likes. One of my favorite films we've done, one of the no most comments. original films we've ever done, mm -hmm. uh, because we just kind of pulled it out of thin air. I've said it in previous videos before, I came up with this idea in the shower. So, great, th you can turn nothing into something, and that's exactly what we did with the drop zone and it's one of the most mysterious adventure films we've ever done there's a lot that goes into it that's very like even now it's still a big question mark who is behind the drop zone what is behind the drop zone why are these people here is it because cody's a great runner maybe Maybe. Is it because the other two people are great runners? I don't know. I don't know. Why is there a big manky in the <laughs> in the drop zone? That's a really big question. And wh why did nobody save the man who got killed? Well, that one's an easy one because we just didn't care about him. We didn't care about him, and they weren't around him. No, we weren't around him. Uh, but that film was fun to do, uh, playing characters that we just kind of came up with on the fly. We kind of recreated some scenes from the Hunger Games in that one as well, where you bouncing off the the outside of the dome uh, yeah. and doing all that kind of stuff. We took from our other films, and and we've talked about what we've based it on and all that. Junk. Here's a good question. We might even react to this video in the next video. Who yeah. knows? So we can mm -hmm. talk a little bit more about it because yeah. this is a gr this is a good original film. Mm -hmm. Here's a good question. Um, so in the film, if you've watched it, you know. Uh, of course, we made it, so we know. Yeah. Um, you know the whole whenever one dies, someone replaces them and mm -hmm. stuff? How many people is in there? Probably a lot of dead corpses in there. A lot. But, like, I wonder how many people were in there at a time. We'll we never see. really made that up. <laughs> yeah, well, no, we said that there only could be, like, three at a time. I think oh, I, okay. I think I said something like that in the film, but it all depends how many people were have been dead in there, how long the game's been going. Okay, and what if two people get killed at the same time? Exactly. What, what are they going to do there? See, there's a lot you can go off of, and that's why we rabbit potentially... Hole. Rabbit hole. That's why we might do a sequel. We have some ideas for plot points to put in a sequel. That we might do in the future, because, and we'll also to expand Caitlin's character in that film as well, because she just kind of shows up. She's just kind of there. She's just kind of the replacement for the guy who got killed, mm -hmm. uh, and got beat to death by the manky. So, is it really a manky? We don't know. I'm. It just looked like a manky. I had to dress up like him, so I knew it was a uh, manky. Could be just some random monster. It was a who monster. Knows? Yeah. Uh, Dawson also did fight the camera. I did. Yeah. That was a cool little segment. Yeah. Even, even though, like, to the outer perspective, it probably looks retarded, but on camera it looks pretty good. Yeah, so. it was it was something else. But uh, where would you put... 
the drop zone. Um. Well, before we said a lot of the good comments about oh, it. Oh yeah, the bad stuff. Let's about think it. about the bad stuff to see where we actually put it. What's um, something that's bad about it? Um. That you can think of. I love. I tan love. Bed. I'm just the, yeah, tan and bed. No, I'm just kidding. That, that was, was one actually, of the cool parts. That's of really it. a cool part. Um, the dialogue between me and you sometimes is weird. It's a little awkward. But it was because we were trying to be funny, and yeah. you know how that works when we try to be funny. Uh, that's about it. I mean, I can't really think of anything else. I mean, it was kind of difficult because we had to figure out this world, just the three of us. We, I mean, we didn't have anything to really. All we based it off of was the Maze Runner and the Hunger Games and dystopian stuff. Um, I'm going to say, going off of kind of like what you said about Brothers, I feel like this film could have been a little bit longer. Yeah, and it, if we did do it a little bit longer, it would be a movie. I can tell you that right now. Yeah. I, we, we probably would have really put a lot of stuff in there. Um, we honestly could make a part two Yeah. and just keep filming and honestly combine the two together. Pretty and much. it would be a movie. Yeah. Because we've talked about doing a part two and like, if from what I remember correctly, we could actually just kind of like go... Put them together into one mm -hmm. thing because the, in the sequel we've talked about revealing all the questions of who started this and backstory with the Drop Zone game itself and so... We might uh, potentially do that, uh, but where would you put it, Dawson? I'm thinking of A. I'm thinking A, too. Okay, yeah, I was thinking of A because we had some things that we didn't like about it. But hey, so far we haven't dropped below a B. That is true. So that tells you uh, our opinions on it. Now, a lot of people would probably beg to differ, but this isn't your video. This is our video. So. <laughs> Just look. My character likes to find cameras. <laughs> yeah, that was the one thing Dawson knew where every single... See, there's the, there's a question right there. How did Dawson know where every single camera was? He's just looking around. He's just like, oh, there's a camera. Does that oh, mean... There's another camera. Does that mean Cody runs the drop zone and he was just playing along the entire time? Maybe. Mm. I don't know. Maybe. He was kidnapped at the very beginning. He was, but maybe he asked for it. Maybe he did. To I mean, make it... I don't know. See, there's a lot of questions, people. This part was really cool. The oh, different the different finding the control room, and then that's another question: Who was in the control room the entire time? Was it the guy? Was it the mysterious man at the beginning of the film that talked to Cody and recruited him for the drop zone? Maybe, who knows? Our how next... did they get so much money? <laughs> yeah, uh, for real. Yeah, that's another good question. Our next film is our third feature length film and the most in depth film we've ever done in the history of whether news happens or not. It has 259 views and 14 likes, and that's Who Took Sarah. If you watch the film, you'll know. <laughs> it's but awesome. <laughs> it is, yeah, I saw you write it down, and I'm also putting it at S. It's a very good. Top. It's a very good uh, film indeed. Over an hour and one minute of in depth storytelling to the max. Uh, it was funny because my girlfriend Lexi said it gave, my character gave her Dahmer vibes. I can see that. Yeah, so uh, shout out to her. Uh, she said that I acted like Jeffrey Dahmer, which I wasn't going for that. I just wanted to be the scariest human being on the face of the planet, and I think I did a great job at that. But uh, Dawson got to play. If you don't remember his name, you should, because he's Detective Ray Dixon, who part of the police department. I say it almost every yeah. time I yeah. meet somebody. That's when you know we don't write our scripts. But, I mean, it does make sense. It does, because you're introducing, introducing himself yeah. to everybody. But just outside of camera, you're thinking like, oh my This God. is hilarious. This became a joke with my side of the family. Yeah. That you kept repeating it over and over. It's Ray great. Dixon, hey, it's great. how's it going? Ray Dixon, uh, who was looking at a murder investigation and now has to go to another possible murder investigation. We came up with some backstory for his character, too, that the fact that he is so attached to this case is because we think, and this is our idea that we've talked about, is that he lost his daughter in the past. Mm -hmm. Because I kidnapped the girl and he might have lost the girl, and that's why he acts so adamant of finding Forrest and wanting to kill him. Yep. Because it kind of just makes no sense why he would get so yep. adamant about it for no absolute reason. We definitely have... We filmed almost everywhere. Yeah. Been most of the film, probably about 
75 to 85 percent of the film was just me and Dawson. Yeah. And it's an hour long, which tells you that anyone out there can make a film by yourself or with somebody else and make it really long. Because that's exactly what we did. We filmed it in two days, and it doesn't even look like we did. Nope. But we did. It's great. Who took Sarah? A great film. Uh, great characters in Ray Dixon and uh, Pete Haley, uh, which is... Pete Haley just sounds like a Jeffrey Dahmer name, too. I just now thinking about it. But, uh, yeah, the best scene is probably the shootout scene between me and Dawson uh, at the very end. All the scenes of us yep. talking and doing, getting stories down, and the one, and you talked about like things that we don't like, the lighting and the interrogation stuff. I think we could have fixed because we used these lights, that would have been way better. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we didn't have the lights that we're using right now. Uh, out of the whole entire thing for who took Sarah, mm -hmm. I think the lighting is what I would have. I will say the fixed. way how we filmed it, is yeah, if, if, the way we're gonna film it from now on, yeah, about doing the whole. Wall, 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 turning yeah. tables, turning stuff around. Mm -hmm. Turning? I just went Scottish. Turning? 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 Did you have a nice nap? <laughs> nice nap? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we didn't even, like, I agree, turn. We we went on the same side of the table, and we just made it look like the whole room was just, like, brick, brick the entire way around. Because um, the way how, I mean, you can see in the drop zone um, that way you only got one wall. That's the brick right there. Mm -hmm. So um, we did that we, interrogation too, yeah. where you're walking on the wall, and you see it right there. So we thought, let's do it to where it looks like the whole room is just brick to where it is an interrogation cell. Yeah. So we had it to where whenever it was me and him both, we turned the table up this way to where you had us two and the wall, and then when it was singular, we had the table here, and we literally just flipped everything mm -hmm. around to make it look like both sides of the wall were brick and yada yada yada. We got even more in-depth with the costume changes, too, because that was like the first time we've ever done that. Uh, different cost. Di it was multiple days. Yeah, so. and, and, and even uh, displaying the days, me and Dawson, while editing it, because it took us almost a month to work on it, we had to think of what day is this day and what the date was and write it down on the film so people would understand like have a timeline with it because we were going to get confused if we didn't yeah so uh for, yeah also one of the most confusing things to piece together ever uh but yeah who took sarah next is speaking of confusing uh <laughs> <laughs> the next one uh that has 97 it's underrated 97 views and six likes the Room. There are many films called The Room, but we have one that's called The Room, not the crappy room movie. This is the crazy, crazy room psychological thriller stuff based off of Moon Knight and Stranger Things, and it's it's pretty wild. Um, I would have to give that an A, just because it was experimental for us. I, I'd give it about an A, too, because the story is good. Mm -hmm. It Like Trey said, it's experimental. We were trying different things yeah. while we are filming it, and if you think about it too hard, it'll give you a headache. Yes, very much so. so um, and there are a lot of plot holes in it, too, yeah. with the fact of who hit Dawson's character with a car. Why were they hitting Dawson's character with a car? Uh, then we realized, oh... We, it's just kind of a reason to get him to go to the room. We didn't have anywhere we were going with it, no. really. Um, Caitlin was supposed to have a bigger part in that film we've talked about, uh, where she was supposed to be at Dawson's side when he woke up. So it also makes her character look bad, the fact that she's not there helping you. Yeah. So yeah. that's fun. But we were in a public parking lot. So what a horrible person. Couldn't <laughs> so we couldn't do that. But um, we also talked about, I know me and Caitlin talked about doing a sequel to that film. Yes. With uh, having either her go to the room and really going in depth with her character and who she is related with how y'all started a relationship mm -hmm. and then or doing one with uh, Russell's best friend going to the room or both or Russell goes back to the room. Who knows? It's oh, wild. Lord. Everyone's experiences with the room are very different. Um, but it was very cool. Got to wear the Fiend wrestling mask for the first time. That was fun. Uh, well, died of a heat stroke in wearing it. Gosh, it was so hot. It was now. very hot down there. That uh, that was the first time we also filmed at my Babylon Papal's basement, which is great. And we plan on filming down there more. Mm. Uh, so look forward uh, to that. Uh, anything else you want to say about the room? 
Um, we filmed everywhere for this one too. Sort of. Harrison yeah. Park, Canton, the ba- the basement. The basement. We did. I. So what Trace said, I like it because it's storyline wise. Like I said, I mean, like, if you think about it too hard, it'll give you a headache. Mm-hmm. Acting wise was really good. You got um, to act act against yourself for the first time. That was weird. Which it's funny because in the now almost eight years that we've done it, Dawson has never talked to himself hardly ever. I have not though. Like person to person, I have done that, but he is not. So it was very interesting to see how well his character and stuff would take it talking to himself in the mirror, and that was very hard to film too. That was very hard to film. Trying to get it worked out and going back and forth with the, with the mirror, yeah. The mirror, yeah, yeah. Flaws, it's like you said, it was experimental, so of course there was things that we could have done better. Yeah. Now that we think about it and we watch it and whatnot. That's the bad thing about films. You don't really think about the points of what we could have done better until the film was already out. Pretty and much. Done. So then yeah. you're like, dang, why didn't... Why or while you're editing it. it. Yeah, and you're like, oh, we should have filmed yeah. more of this, or we mm-hmm. should have filmed this. It's like, oh, well, I okay. think the worst part for me is the parking lot scene from beginning to end because we had an idea of what we wanted to do at the beginning and then we couldn't do it so it made everybody question why is this there here why is that there like why did he get hit with a car uh why is his girlfriend not helping him because that's mean and you know it people i had people i don't know about you but i had people asking me about just that part at the beginning alone not about the room itself but about the beginning part yeah because it was just like why would somebody just randomly hit and run this guy what, what happened if we do a sequel you might find out i know Who you knows? might find out uh but yeah that's the room our next one is probably the most star wars film we've ever done and yes i know we did this several months ago so we can say whatever we want uh it is the most viewed film of 2022 and that is star wars bounty with 538 views and 20 likes. It's also our channel trailer, so go check it out if you want to. Um, this film had me, Dawson, Preston, and Caitlin, and it was the second time that we built a set for a film, um, and probably the good. most Star Wars-y... I wouldn't say original because South Jardy was the first, but the second or third most original Star wars thing we've done uh, with Jasper McBride. And it was the very first film with the story of Jasper McBride, period. Uh, and it introduced me and Preston's characters who, spoiler alert, we die. Whatever, yeah. you know. Uh, but, yeah, you get to meet Jasper McBride, uh, that character. You get to meet Valerie, the bartender, all that stuff. It was a lot of character. It was very character-driven. Yeah. With the fact of Jasper McBride and the set pieces and everything. It was also the first film we filmed on a Sunday, which we never did that before. Like, the whole film was filmed on a Sunday. We used to do it like, oh, we'll do it on a Saturday and a Sunday. But this was like fully filmed at the beginning of the week. We never really did that before. And so uh, that was an interesting thing to do. Uh, Makeup was great, especially Mm. for me and Preston. It was really funny. Costumes were great. Costumes were really cool. Uh, oh, that was that was really funny. We made that joke about how I looked like the Spy Kids people from Spy Kids 3. Uh, that's the good thing about Star Wars is literally you can just throw a bunch of random crap together. And you're pretty like, much. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Now, my character on the other hand, I couldn't throw a bunch of crap together. Cause no, because you're just a desert Mandalorian, yeah, basically. I'm, I'm a very Western-looking Mandalorian. Yeah. Uh, I came up with Jasper, and that was the look that I wanted. It was a very, like... Clint Eastwood kind of look. You could seriously look. strip away that suit and make a western film with just Jasper himself, yeah. and it still would. I even have like work an act like a a western kind of accent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like very southern. It was not a very uh, strong. It was a subtle one because yeah. you go in and out of it. Yeah, like you were. It's he was he grew up in the southern part of Mandalore. You know, <laughs> but um, like. Speaking of that or whatnot, we we have done, we've done um, out of office mm-hmm. where I played a Mandalorian with Rex Malibu. with Rex Malibu. and I was like that was an okay. I didn't have a Mandalorian suit, so I just kind of threw a couple of stuff. You also together. didn't I had, talk. Yeah, I didn't talk, and I I had the helmet. I had a Mandalorian helmet, mm-hmm. but like I didn't really have a suit or anything like this. This is a Mandalorian. Yeah, this is a Mandalorian <laughs> suit. 
this is like the real deal kind of ordeal, which is awesome. And it came out really good. It has three comments. Uh, I'm going to put that at S. I, I did. Yeah, I'm going to put it at S because um, just the effort we put into it and the characters that we came up with. I'll, I'll, I'm always a sucker for original characters and making up original characters. So anytime that we do that and it looks great, S for me. Plan on doing more original characters. Yeah, too. we plan on doing um, that. This one was a another um, what's the word we used in the video, right? Um, stunt. Stunt video, yeah, stunt a lot video. of stunts in this one. Um, another time of flipping trace over. I um, legit flip that you, time yeah. on hard surface, uh, harder we, than the Bigfoot one. You yeah. landed on leaves and dirt. I landed on jagged rocks, <laughs> rocks. but I accepted my fate. Okay. Use the body for the film. Yeah. But, uh, Lots of fighting, too. A lot of choreographing and everything. I will say, which was really funny, is we got there, and usually I do a lot of the fight choreography, and I'm the one that's like, okay, this is what we're going to do here. This is how we're going to do this. Yeah, yeah, okay, you're going to put your hand here. Anyways. Um, tr- uh, Preston was supposed to help out, too, because I was like, well, I wrote the script. I did this, and yeah, 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 like... Preston, you know some stuff. Help me out with this. And then when we got to it, Preston was like, uh, I don't know what you want to do. And I'm like, that's why I'm asking you. <laughs> now we got to figure this out. Yeah. So we figured it out and everything. It was really good. I love the characters. Um, one of my favorite films. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's very, awesome. it's a very cool film. Uh, we spent a lot of time on that one. And, uh, also another yeah. one that has green screen that came out really yeah, good. Yeah, the hologram. That was the first time ever trying. We actually made that green screen ourselves, mm-hmm. which is the very first time we ever did that. The hologram and the ship. And the ship, flying yeah. Flying down. Mm-hmm. That was such a really cool scene, the ship flying down to the surface of the Earth, or the planet. Looks like it went into then... the core of the planet yeah. and exploded. Yeah! <laughs> it's a boy! Yeah! <laughs> and yeah. then uh, the whole... It, Look, coming down and landing and whatnot. Yeah. But the hologram thing, as I wrote it into the script, and we were talking about how we we're going to do this and whatnot, and then finally I was like, okay, well. So I took a picture of Trace, and I looked up a Star Wars wanted poster, and I photoshopped it in, uh, tinted it down to where it's all blue, and then went into a uh, video editor and went through and made it glow, and then made like a little thing where it looks like it's glowing from it and particles and yada, yada, yada. And then we put it in the film, and it looks yeah really good. I didn't know what to expect with it, to be honest, when we were working on it. But it was it was pretty cool. Um, the last film that we're going to talk about here, or ranking it, and this one, I'm, I know where I'm putting it, and so that means none of them are going under A, uh, is Inside, which is our uh, Halloween film we did. 72 views, 2 likes. It's also another underrated one that we did. Um, I think it's one of the first actual truly horror films that we've done. Um, we have based it a, uh, around a lot of different horror films that we watched that year, including Barbarian and Halloween and uh, all that type of stuff. It was the first time that uh, Caitlin had a main, an actual main part in a film and not just a supporting character in it. Uh, and it was fun to play... The killer guy, which we still don't know who he is, but we have ideas of where we want to take that series if we want to do a series. And me and Dawson got to play Dumb and Dumber, so that was fun. Gosh, that was funny. Um, I'm going to put that at A. I am too, because it wasn't the greatest, but at the same time, it was also really good. Yeah, the, uh, the only things that I will say that I disliked about it was the wind. Gosh, that was so annoying. The wind was so bad, and we could not help it. Uh, we could have gotten different shots, but we did not. And the wind just kind of took away the comedic aspects of us saying stuff. Now, that was the time where we tried to be funny, and it actually was funny. It was actually funny. Instead of the drop zone where we are trying to be very, very funny. Um, but that was a fun film to do. Uh, Caitlin's acting was great. Yeah. Uh, our acting was pretty much how we are in real life. It was funny. Pretty much. And uh, playing the killer was fun. Uh, it would have been great. Again, another thing is the lighting. This, these lights would have been great they would have for been that film um, because you can dim these lights also, yeah. not keep them the way they are. Yeah, what did you think about Inside? Um, 
I love it. It's a good. It's a good film. Um, it's like what Trey said. This is like an actual like true horror film that we did. It's a uh, slasher yeah. horror film. Mm-hmm. Um, really cool. There's definitely a lot of question marks in it to, to where like what he said. There's definitely more you can build off of it with. Which we have ideas so, for where we want to take it. Yeah. So you know who knows. You may see a sequel inside two. <sighs> or whatever it is. <sighs> that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, I'll be completely honest. Everything was really cool. You had the horror aspect of it, and this, that, and the other, and the good storyline of it. Uh, my favorite part was just our characters. Yeah. Just the comedic relief. Literally dumb and dumber because I w- you were dumb and I was dumber. <laughs> Like, my dad, my dad, whenever we, um, this film got released, like, a week after, um... It got, it came out on Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, a week after, my dad went to the hospital because of his blood pressure. It, uh, went up really bad, so we were sitting there, and he was watching the film while he was in the room, and the part where Tracy's character says, I don't, uh, I don't sleep, I dream, and my character just kind of, like, side-eyes him. He started cackling and dying of laughter yeah. in the bed because it's, it's just really funny. So. Yeah, we, it was inspired by True Detective. Yeah. Fun stuff. Um, but that was all 13 films that we've done since we ranked the and did the last ranking, which was the top 10 worst and top 10 best films. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this is a tier list. If you want us to put those films, which would be probably even longer, we might have to do multiple parts uh, for that. If you want us to do the rest of the films that we've done in a tier list, let us know by leaving a like on this video and commenting that as well. Um, we've done a lot, and that's that's over the last two years of just what we've done. Uh, we've done over a dozen films, and we continue to move on, move, to move forward. Uh, like we said, eight years is coming up. That's pretty wild. And in about two more years, we'll be at ten, and then we're going to feel really old. Oof. Yeah, we're going to feel really, really old. Um, but that's going to do it here for another episode of the Weather News Hammers or Not Show. Episode 12. We're on episode 12, guys. Woo! Episode 12. We are inching closer and closer, ever so closely, to season two, guys, of the Weather News Times or Not show. You won't expect it, because we ain't going to tell you. It'll just happen. It'll just, this will look a lot different when we get to season two. Everything you see right now will not be here. No. Except for this mic. Yep. And our phones. And we still will be in the basement. Yeah. This table, it will be here, but there will be something covering it. Yeah. So there'll there will be, be stuff a, on it. There will be a cloth on it. To yeah. where it looks a little bit more fancy, and then yeah. we'll have a backdrop, and then we'll have the nice, pretty yeah, another one poster, the new season two logo that you'll get to see. So. Be great. Uh, but that's gonna do it for me and Dawson here uh, for the Weather News Times or Not show. If you like this video, leave a like down below. Uh, comment what kind of episodes you want us to do next, because we have been getting some suggestions on Instagram about yeah. stuff to do episodes on, and we might do those in the future. Uh, as well and subscribe the very most important part of this entire thing is subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell down below because if if you don't you won't get to see when we post videos every now, week one thing that i'm going to add on um because this is the uh last video until that point you'll um you'll see it after this video, but before the next show video. Yeah. After this video comes out, from basically just a day before, but next week is the official start date for the movie yep. that we are doing. So, we've been keeping it a secret, but it's like what we said, whenever the first day, whenever we get done filming on the first day... I uh, will post it all over our Instagrams, uh, TikTok, whatever else we want to post it on, um, Snapchat, all the so- social media yeah. stuff about the title of it and what kind of film it is and so on and so forth. And you'll see it and whatnot. And um, we might even talk about it on the show yeah. uh, Sunday. You'll when actually we film get to hear about on it. On episode 13, we might talk about it. We might, yeah, that 
the whole episode might just be talking about the film. Yeah, talking pretty about, much. Like, yeah. What's the plan for it? But not actually giving away the story for yeah, it. Yeah. Because we want you to watch it. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, so get ready for that. Yeah, that should be very, very interesting to see how that goes down. And y'all get the, if y'all stick around, y'all get to see it. Yeah. So pretty cool And stuff. if you're in the area that's around here and you message us and we know you or whatnot, we have talked about doing a premiere night at the theaters for it because it is going to be such a big ordeal. So if we are able to do that and that does happen, you can come watch it in the theater before it's out on YouTube. Yep. That's going to do it. My name is Trace Parks. My name is Dawson Mullins. We'll see you guys in the next episode of the Weather News Happens or Not show. Bye-bye. Bye.